Hey everyone, it's Lexi. So in today's video I'll be sharing with you all of the music, movies, and TV shows that I watched and listened to over the month of July. So I'll say like in terms of media there wasn't really that much going on. I will say because the Olympics has taken so much of my viewing time, we're a very big Olympic family. I had uh, two cousins actually that competed in the Olympics. One actually won gold and the other one won silver. So I guess we're a very big Olympic family. It's weird because like we talk about the olympics all the time with our friends but they're just not interested so let me know if you are a big olympic fan because we are and i love watching all like the gymnastics volleyball diving i think are my favorite so we've been watching that every night um so there isn't as much media as there has been in the past but nevertheless without further ado let's get started so starting out with music i first have Renegade by Big Red Machine featuring Taylor Swift and this is basically just like a Taylor Swift track. I feel like it was like an extra one from either Folklore or Evermore and it was like a good like marketing strategy to put this on this album for you know more revenue streaming and all of that stuff so um, I still really like the song nevertheless it's kind of very similar to the sound that we see in like Folklore and Evermore. I want to say more Evermore because it is Kind of more on the poppier side but it still has that kind of singer songwriter feel to it i love the message in this song and just the riff and the guitar riff throughout the whole thing and all that so i was really excited when this came out and i think there's another track that she's featured on this album too that comes out end of august so i'll have to keep my eyes peeled for that and lastly, I have Bad Habits by Ed Sheeran. This is a song that I really like, actually. Like, it's a good, like, I feel like it's a good driving song. And I don't know, I always love Ed Sheeran. And I really like the song and the feel and the vibe of this song. So I don't know really what else to say, but I do really like this song as well. So moving on with TV shows, we have been continuing our rewatch of Bones. We are almost done season two and I really love it. It made me realize like what I really loved about this show and you can, I feel like the show did really start off strong, but I feel like it's in the second season where you do get more of the character dynamics and everything like that. So, and where they kind of integrate a little bit more humor into things. So I've definitely been <laughs> re like reliving my best life watching these shows again and all that stuff so it's really interesting looking at, at it now because I think I was like 16 when I first started watching this show so it's been a good 10 years since kind of I rewatched it like when I watched it as like the first time so it has been really enjoyable as well and then this is a show that I have like low-key become obsessed with and it's Crikey it's the Irwins and this is basically a like it's kind of not a reality but it's kind of like a docu style kind of show that showcases kind of the you know ongoing stuff with the Australian zoo and I remember watching like the crocodile hunter as a kid so it's interesting watching like kind of his kids kind of take on that role but for me I find the interesting stuff is kind of the veterinary care that goes into kind of dealing with these animals like how do you do an x-ray of a giraffe's knee like I think the veterinary care side is really interesting I don't really care much for like the crocodile stuff and like jumping on it because I think that's just crazy but I do really enjoy kind of the medical side to things and like the keepers and just their interactions with some of like the animals and just seeing their different personalities or even like with the emergency um, kind of veterinary clinic that they have where they find like all these animals and then you kind of learn more about the care and all that so I really like that I'm almost done actually I'll probably finish it probably mid-August but I'm almost done at season three so it was also interesting seeing how kind of beginning of the pandemic affected the zoo like that's not something that I really thought about I was like oh like you know zoo would zoos would have money but you don't realize how much of like their income is dependent upon people actually attending so that one was really interesting as well but I have been obsessed with this series like I literally would just marathon it 
all day. So let's go ahead and move on to movies. So as always, you can follow me at LexiDM14 on Letterboxd. So let's go ahead and get started. So July wasn't a very good in terms of quantity um, for movie month, but they were really good in quality wise. So actually, <laughs> um, so for this one here, for we watched the Chronicles of Narnia Prince Caspian because we watched the first one um, last month and I really liked it. I think these movies hold up well and I think I really had, I remember when I was younger, I had a big crush on the people who played Peter, Edmund, and Caspian so it was funny watching this now as an adult but I do think it really holds up well actually I need to edit this because I have watched this film before um, but yeah I did really like it I think these movies are really well done um, considering that they were made like especially this one like <laughs> 16 years ago so I think they've really aged really well and I really it's got me inspired to like re-watch the movies um, or sorry, reread the books. Um, so I might be doing that in the future, who knows? But yeah, I definitely felt all the nostalgia here. And then finally, we watched the must-anticipated Black Widow movie, and I think this has to be my favorite Marvel movie of all time. I think they did a really tremendous job. I gave it a 5 out of 5 stars. It honestly was amazing. There are so many things that you can see that you could tell it was a female director just having the characters with their hair back when they're fighting, not wearing these obscene heels when they're trying to fight. So it was really good. I think this is between this, Black Widow, and WandaVision. Like these are like my favorite things and I definitely want to rewatch it again. It was really good, like I said, and it's bittersweet knowing how what happens to this character, but I really liked it and I feel like Florence Pugh did an amazing job as well. I loved the mix of humor in here and um, emotion and how it tackled some kind of darker subject matter as well with kind of human trafficking and there was one quote in the movie that talked about how like the most the biggest resource that um, the world has is unwanted girls and I think that it's really important how it tackled that and especially because this does focus on such a big audience so yeah this movie lived up to the hype it was well worth the wait and I thought it was really well done let me know if you guys have seen this and what you thought about it because I honestly thought it was amazing so that's it guys thank you guys so much for watching I hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know in the comments below what you have been watching and listening to this month and all of that fun stuff so yeah thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and i will see you guys next time bye guys